Photo luminescence is another very important characterization technique. The word luminescence means emission of light. When we see emission of light, that we call luminescence. So the word photo here basically means that this emission of light is caused by photons. So photoluminescence is basically a light emission process from any substance after photon absorption. So let's know a little bit about photon absorptions. When photon strike any material object or liquid, basically it excites the electron from homo to lomo. Now this process we call absorption. Now basically what will happen now, this electron will come back again to the ground state or equilibrium and it will emit another photon. So this process we call photoluminescence. This emission is caused by the absorption of photon. This is why it is called photoluminescence, right? Let's uh, know this in detail basically. If we are talking about the absorption here, so we are talking about the UV vis spectroscopy. We use ultraviolet visible radiations to bombard the material and we excite the electron from the ground state to the uh, uh, excited states. Here this level we call HOMO and this we call LOMO. HOMO we know highest aquified molecular orbitals. Here in these orbitals we have filled, the orbitals are filled from electrons. And this is called lowest unaccompanied molecular orbital. These orbitals are empty, are lowest unaccompanied. Mean uh, uh, this hole is unaccompanied, and the bottom line is called lowest unaccompanied molecular orbitals. Right. So when we are talking about the molecules, we use the word LOMO in HOMO. When we are talking about semiconductors, we use the word conduction band and valence band. Now what basically happened when we strike? photons and a semiconductor material it excites electrons from the valence band to the conduction band so this process is a separate process that uh, when we strike photon on a material object it excites electron from homo to the lomo or from valence band to the conduction band now what this electron will do now this electron will relax itself it will again come back to the equilibrium state or to the ground state. So due to this relaxation, it will emit another photon and this process we call photoluminescence. So photoluminescence basically talk about emissions and when we are talking about ultraviolet uh, uh, visible spectroscopy, so that basically we are talking about absorptions, right? So basically photoluminescence is not a separate process, it is accompanied with the absorption process. When we shine light on a material object, it absorbs light in the electronic side from lower state to the higher state. Then the electron relax and it emit light in that photon we call uh, photoluminescence, right? Uh, here basically the Photoluminescence is basically uh, divided into two, two parts. The one is called the fluorescence and another is called uh, phosphorescence. These both are basically PL, photoluminescence. Emission of light occurs, but what are the differences? Let's discuss now. If you look into this graph, basically this red is basically the absorb, absorb, absorbance. Here the, the, the material absorb light. When it absorb light, so the electron excite from the ground state to the uh, higher state or from Williams band to the conduction bands. Now those electrons will relax now and it will come to the ground state. So it come to the ground state in two ways. One is called fluorescence, another is called phosphorescence. So we know that there is a shift in wavelength. Why there is a shift? When these electrons excite from the valence band to the conduction band, so there are 
uh, sub levels there so the electron come to the this level and it lost some energy and it come again come to this level and it lost some energy when it lost some energy and again when it comes to the ground state so its energy is significantly decrease so when the energy is decrease you look this equation so when the energy is decrease the light wavelength should be increased this is why there is a shift here in the wavelength this fluorescence if you look here the this this fluorescence in this uh, uh, phosphorescence this both are called emission these both curve are for emission right this is for emissions now if you look into the phosphorescence the same phenomena but in this case the energy is further decrease why the energy is decrease further because i know from the curve there is a shift in wavelength there is a shift in wavelength so this means that the energy decrease significantly due to this the wavelength increase this fluorescence the transition occur between the ground state in the singlet state in this phosphorescence the transition occur between the ground state and the triplet state i will explain what is this basically means there is in in this one we lost some energy why because there is inter system crossing i will explain this in the next video but let's briefly discuss now this uh, fluorescence and phosphorescence we know according to pauli exclusion principle that uh, electrons are uh, living in pairs in orbitals right this electron is uh, up spin and this is spin down right when we excite uh, when we when we shine light here so for example the electron excite from uh, the valence band to the conduction band uh, from uh, from lower state to the higher state so you can see that the spin is not changed here so when the spin is not change so there is a rule of multiplicity that is called ps plus 1 so you can see here the spin is now opposite to each other this spin is upward this spin is downward so this net spin is zero here so the multiplicity is equal to 1 so this is called singlet state right here occur the fluorescence right so it has very short time now if we excite the electron in a way that there is a flip in spin and this phenomena is basically inter system crossing so that we basically flip the spin so here there is a net spin the net spin is basically one how one half spin is this and half spin is this and both added if we put this in the multiplic multiplicity so 2 plus 1 at 2 cross 1 plus 1 it become 3 so the multiplicity is 3 this is we call triplet stat so the phosphorus is basically occur here and the fluorescence is basically occur here now look at the applications of this so uh, in this case the energy is decrease uh, less is compared to at uh, this one because there is an inter system uh, crossings right now let's see the applications of photoluminescence it is very very useful in determining the purity and crystalline of semiconductor uh, in the amount of disorder present system this means that uh, from pl we can understand uh, and we can get the knowledge that whether uh, the material is uh, pure or crystalline in nature because the the, the 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 peaks the peaks will give us the information that uh, if the peak, peaks are uniform or something so we can say that there is order and if there is a, a disorder or something uh, so the peaks there will be uh, no frequency in the peaks and we can say that there are disorder in a material so basically pls give us the information about the crystallinity and the purity of a semiconductor there is also recombination process the one for example recombination process mean that when we a, a excite electron so this electron is then excited there is a hole here and this electron can come back again and recombine so recombination process is unwanted process and it is very very uh, play bad role in for example in semiconductor and uh, solar cells etc right and this material quality we explain and we also explain that impurity and defects in the band gap we can easily find the band gap uh, from uh, uh, photoluminescence using 
uh, this same formula here when we see hc over lambda right so this was all about the photoluminescence and further we will uh, massage the concept of uh, singlet and triplet stats